Hey, beloved angels, here I am in my forest, roaring meditation like a lion and being love. And I remembered that love always wins, regardless the conditions. Love wins in the end. And I remembered one story. It is one of my favorite stories. It was one of my favorite stories. It always seems like a memory, but uh, they told me it's not a memory because I cannot have such memory. So I then think a story, but now it's a memory. And I can speak this story seven days and I cannot tell them. It's a story about a lion god. It's a story about the that happened in another galaxy not here and a story that shows that love always wins and regardless the condition and that was the story when the entire galaxy was enslaved by a demon and that demon was destroying all the saints and all the people of light, good people, and he established darkness all over the galaxy, all over the kingdoms. So, but love always wins. I'm telling this story because why should we worry? Now already all the odds and everything is on the side of light, side of heavens and earth. And that story, what I'm going to tell now, there was no odds for light. The darkness seemed to have all the power, but the God and love win on the end. It's a story about lion, about God that appeared like a lion. Yes, lion. It's a story not known in West, but it should be because it's so beautiful. I would try to be short as I can, but I don't know if I can... I hope uh, if I go too long, YouTube can post such video. Because I can speak this for an, I don't know how long and it's... I will try to be the shortest. But every memory, everything has entire book to explain. So, it, so this demon, he enslaved all the galaxy. And he was angry at the Narayan, Elohim, God. Because uh, in the previous time, God killed his brother because his brother was enslaving one earth, earth planet. I don't know if this earth, but was enslaving the planet and he brought the planet back to the higher dimensions, to the golden age. And in that way, he killed a demon and demon and that uh, Hiranyakashipu, the brother of Hiranyaksha who was killed, he hated God. His uh, main objective was, God killed my brother, now I will kill God, he said. I will kill God, I will kill the creator. I will find the creator and I will kill him. This was his, he was uh, kind of enlightened, he knew everything about soul, everything. But he hated God. And he said, I am God, I establish myself here as God and everyone should worship me and everybody who worship anybody else or meditate of anything, they are only allowed to worship me and they kill. And he was killing throughout the galaxy all who were not following this. The saints, the mystics, angels, Oof. it was like this. So in this story, you know, because the Vedic different names and everything, we had Brahma and we have Abraham and like this. It's Narayan Elohim. The, so the God took form of a lion, roaring lion. And how did it happen? So when all this killing and enslaving and all entire galaxy was enslaved, then they went to Krishna. They went to Krishna, uh, the demigods and angels, they went to Krishna and they said, Lord, what you gonna do? Now this look, this galaxy, entire galaxy is enslaved. This, you see, they are, the saints are getting killed. And nobody cannot do anything good. If somebody do good, is punished. It's a genocide of saints and demons and re rejoicing. And Krishna said, don't worry. I have sent 
my pure devotee, my pure angel I have sent into the womb of demon's wife. And he will get born, he will destroy the dynasty and everything. But he will be completely humble, never touching uh, anybody, harming anything, always praying. And whatever they will do to him, he will surrender and accept. This is what is my karma. And I will always protect him. And the day when his father put his hands on him and wants to hurt him, that day I will personally appear. And I will kill him. Destroy him and save the galaxy. And the demigods left. So Krishna, he told to Narada, you go there, demigods, you go there, you know Hiranyakashipu wife, you know, she is pregnant. There's a pure angel inside the womb. You take her because the Hiranyakashipu is going to meditate to Shiva to get his superpowers. And he will be gone 100 years. So you take her 100 years. He have cursed uh, the woman. So she will not give birth in 100 years. So 100 years you can teach. This was previous age. This was previous galaxy. This was not here. People live long. And uh, this is not from this time. This space. And he went. He went. And he took her because Hiranyakashipu, he went to the Shiva to meditate. He wanted to be immortal. I will tell what happened. I must go very short in every segment of this story. So he went to Shiva and he meditated. He even meditated so much. He cut the flesh of his bones, everything. He did so penance like nobody can do. Demon. So Shiva appeared. It was all. It's just Lila. Just the story to appear and Shiva asked him, how are you doing this? Nobody can do this and it's uh, this. If somebody do this, I have to bless him. So whatever you want, whatever I can give, I will give you. And Hiranyakashipu said, I want to be immortal. And he said, Look, I cannot give you immortality. Only the Elohim, only the Narayan, only God he can give you. Only Krishna can give you. He said, no, I not ask him. I don't like him. I like you because you are with the demons. Because Shiva in the Vedic, he controls the demons not to spread. And it's like, but okay, let leave Shiva. But Shiva, he blessed him. So, you know, Shiva. <laughs> and uh, he said, there's something else you have to. I give you everything else, but I cannot give you mortality. You have to go to Vishnu, you have to go to Krishna. No, I not go to Krishna. I hate him. I kill him. Okay, then you ask me what you want. I love Krishna. And he, Hiranyakashipu, very angry. But he knows this Shiva, he will bless me. So, like this. And uh, he said, okay, then let no weapon, any weapon can kill me. Cannot kill me. Okay? Shiva said, yes. Okay, now. Now you please, you tell me, I cannot die inside the house and outside the house. Okay, granted. I cannot die in the air, cannot be killed in the air, cannot be killed in the ground. Granted. He said, I cannot be killed by any created living being. Granted. And then he said, and also this. Uh, I cannot be killed not a day and not a night. Granted. Uh, like this. And I know something else. Okay, and he said, okay, everything is granted. And then he thought, I, ca I cannot be killed anywhere but I, by anyone, so I'm immortal. And he was very cocky and he went in, uh, then he, like this, meditation over 100 years. In this 100 years, Narada Muni, he was taking the woman of uh, Hiranyakashipu to his temple and he was giving her, the, he was telling her stories and all the wisdom and everything. But she did not, she had not this uh, in inclination to expand. So she did not get anything, she was just listening. But the baby boy Prahlad in the womb, he got very enlightened. 
and he got enlightened and ascended in the womb. Just by the words of Narada speaking, he everything he remembered and he was ascended and enlightened in the womb. And you imagine this. <laughs> Becoming pure crystal child. He become, and this is also very important because also now in the families of uh, Rothschild and all these families of Kabbal, we should not. They are pure angels, pure crystal, pure rainbow angels getting born and they are there and they will bust the system. And this story shows same. This story shows same. So we should not judge the family because family has now good children and these children will make change. And they are giving the energy there, the love and light, and this is going from in. And in this story of Hiranyakashipu, Prahlad and Narasinga, same. He sent the best soul he had, he sent to the womb of a demon to be born there. So he got enlightened and everything, little kid in the womb, he listened to everything, he remembered all his complete self, everything, and all he knew was God. So he sent the woman back. And before Hiranyakashipu came back, the woman was back, and uh, also Hiranyakashipu, with his uh, belief that he's immortal now, he came back, you know. He came back, and, <laughs> and as he came back, he started killing more and everything more and slaving more and the saints were very much in distress and everything and I did not know what to do. They just prayed and prayed and prayed. But his kid, you know, his kid was very nice. His kid was in a demon school where they teach demon art and all this economy war and this bullshit they teach in this world now and uh, business and like this. He was everything straight A. Everything straight A. He was pretending, I'm best. But you know, when there was break, he sit in the front and he chanting, Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Narayana. And he telling them, the God is in every living being, in every heart. If we love God, we love all, we are all one. And we all must this and we all be happy and like this. He was this in, in, in the breaks, doing this. And, uh, you know, and... Father was very proud because he has very straight A and straight everything, you know. And But then the gurus of this child there at school, they saw, oh, this is not good. He's doing uh, saintly work in the school and he's a future king, future emperor. Now what we will do? We have to tell to the father. So they tell to the father. And... Uh, Father asked, did you tell him? Who tell him? Only you have access to him. You did tell him. They said no. And this was the showing the integrity. Even in this story, demons did not lie. He believed because they said yes. There was this. Also, uh, when Ravana kidnapped Sita, she did not want to have sex. She did, he did not rape her. So mean uh, these demons were better than people today. He believed that they, they are not lying. And uh, he said, okay, I believe you, but it should not happen again. Now you please bring the child to me. You know. And they bring the child to him. And the child was, oh, my father, you are the best of all demons. Because the child, you know, child, he, he like, uh, he know the father don't like if he tell him you are very good, you are a saint. If he tell him you are a nice demon, father very good. So he tell him you are best demon. And father, thank you. You are best demon too. You are next best demon. And uh, he did not say anything. He was not demon. So father wanted to see what is happening. He said, you sit on my lap, my son. You are my pride. And he sat on his lap. And he asked, uh, he asked the son, what did you learn in your life? Most important thing. And the son was looking now. Okay, these are the people here. Uh, the, the wives are here. The teachers and everybody. I can pretend in the school. But here are the people. Now I must tell the truth. And he said. The most suspicious and greatest thing I ever learned. Is that God is in every heart. And he loves everyone. And he is everywhere. And if we love God in every heart. We love everyone. And we all are be happy father. And the father was like, oh, fuck. He was like bursting. He wanted to, what to do? Huh? You know, and he was like this. 
and he was giving the order to stop this, that son should not do anything anymore, and they should this, and he will punish everybody if this will continue. This is the future demon, he cannot be sane. So he sent them back, but after time he was sane. And the, de and the demon gurus came and told to the father, he's same, he's singing their mantra with him. They are teaching them love and light and they are all happy and singing. The father said, okay. Father said, okay. You go kill him. You kill him by any means. You take that little boy, you kill him. He to his own son. Because his own son was not that what he wanted to be for him. And he said, you kill him. Yeah, you are. You can you imagine this? He said, "You kill him." And but you know, Krishna said, "I will protect that child everywhere." So they wanted to kill him. First, they have brought him to the mountain. They brought him to the mountain and they throw him down to the mountain. And uh, Krishna sent his bird, hawk, eagle, eagle, eagle. You know. Or hawk, I don't know. A little like this. It's a bird. It's a strange bird. It's a humanoid bird, so I don't know what it is. It looks like eagle hawk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he sent this bird. And the bird came. And he picked up the boy. And he left the boy on the ground. And he went. And boy was chanting, Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Narayana. And the demons came down and the son, the boy was there alive, sitting on the ground. They saying, what is this now? So, they are like this. They did not know what to do. So they say, okay, now we will put him in the hot oil. Boil him. And also they put hot oil, everything. But you know, as they put a little boy inside, the God changed the water into the... Because little boy accepted everything. This is the point. That's why I'm going very fast, but if I would tell everything, I would tell the points. Little boy accepted. Oh, this is happening to me. Oh, okay. I will surrender to God. I will accept. He never retaliated. He never said uh, that uh, they should not do this. And why are you doing this to me? I'm innocent. I don't deserve. No, he surrendered. So the... When... Uh, when you are surrendered to God, to love, and you don't defend yourself, then love of God must defend you. Because you will not. You surrendered yourself and you are given. So there's no, if you don't do nothing, God, you are my. So God come and save you. But you need to surrender like he was surrendered. So he came down and, you know, he brought the boy down like this. What is now? Ah, oil, yes. So when he put the boy in the oil, they put demons in the oil, the boy, the boy, the water put very nice, like warm bath, and the boy was taking bath, and they look, oh, his water inside, what is this now? And boy was chanting, Om Namo Narayana, all in love, smiling. And they did not know what to do. So they tell him, okay, now we do something else. We will put him in the dungeon down there, no food, no water, Nothing, we put him there, seven days he's dead. So they put him down, seven days he's dead, but he's accepting, he's not crying, he's chanting, meditating down there, praying. So Krishna sent uh, Lakshmi, goddess of fortune, down to feed him with best food, best drinks. So when they, they come after seven days, he was very happy, chanting and fat. Uh, everything, like, what is this is now, what is this, they're thinking. We cannot kill this little boy. He cannot kill this little boy. Uh, this is when you surrender to God, nobody can hurt you. You know, nobody can hurt you. And this this story is telling this, and I'm very sorry. This story is not everywhere, because we know about lion, but we don't know this story, which is so empowering. And then, you know, what happened after. I did not know, I, I will not tell all the things how they tried to kill him, just the final one more. So the demon went to his sister Hiranyakashipu and he said, You are the worst demon, the worst witch in the kingdom. Now you go and kill him. And she went and she got the cloth to put over her body 
and uh, no fire can touch her. And she said, okay, you put fire, big fire pile, I will go there, I will put my cloth on so I won't burn and I will put the boy in my lap so boy will burn. And they put the fireplace, everything, she put the cloth on herself, she sit on the top of the fire, the witch, you know, witch on the top of the fire. And she put the boys here and the boy was not even uh, saying no or nothing. He was just sitting there in her lap and meditation. Oh, Namo Narayana, she could not stand it. But okay, she thought, I will stand it and she will burn. So they put this on fire, it was gone, all burning. And what happened there? What happened there? They see everything burning down, everything like this. The ashes are gone, the smoke is gone, and then, you know, then they wanted to open the person who is under the cloth, you know, the cape. And then they opened and there was Prahlad Maharaj, little boy, chanting, Om Namo Narayana. So the God switched the cloth and the woman burned and the boy was okay. So then they thought, oh, we cannot kill him. Now you have to go to the father. We have to go to the father. And they told, we cannot kill him. We tried everything. I, we, there must be God somewhere to protect him because we tried everything what is possible to try, but we could not kill him. So, he says, we are always protected. So they brought the boy and the uh, boy came and father felt this selfish love. Oh, it's my boy. He put him on the lap and he said, Look, you see, if I wanted to kill you, you would be dead. This he lied. He lied here, yes. Because he wanted to kill him. You know. But what is but he got this, you know, every father has the compassion. Every father even if most demon has this and like this and you know so he was melted he said my boy you are the successor of the kingdom everything here is yours everything belongs to you what belongs to me and the boy said no father everything belongs to god and we all belong to God. And if we know this, we have no trouble. We all can dance and we all can be one. We all are one in this love of God. And father went completely crazy. And, you know, because what is this now? You. And he said, I am your father. I give you everything. I give you food to eat. I give you shelter. I give you protection. I will give you the throne. Everything here is mine. All galaxy is mine. I give you everything. You worship me. I am God. And the boy said, and the boy said No, Father. You worship God, the source. You worship Krishna. You love. In love of God, we all are one. And God is everywhere, and everywhere we are one, because in this oneness of God we are one. And God is everywhere. And when we know this, we all can be happy, and we all can be friends, and we all can dance in this love of God. And the father was completely mad. This is nothing. He, he saw this is completely useless. So he grabbed the boy with all his demoniac strength and he smashed him down the ground. But the Krishna again, he made ground very soft so nothing happened. Boy bounced on the ground and sit there and Om Namo Narayana again. And then the father saw again nothing. Where is your fucking God, I ask you? Where is your fucking God? Where? I'm God. Where is your fucking God? Is in this pillar God, huh? In this pillar... And then the Prahlad said, yes, everywhere, yes, in this pillar. And uh, uh, Hiranya Kashipu went completely in rage and everything. And he took his hammer, in this pillar, okay, I'll kill him. And he smashed the pillar into pieces. And uh, Elohim, Krishna, Narayan, whatever you call, I am, he just that his de devotee, his lover, his little boy would not lie. When he said I, he is in this pillar. 
So he appeared in the pillar, you know. He appeared in the pillar and there was very tall figure, big lion, humanoid lion, very big, this hair and crown and claws and golden lion, very big lion. Jainara Singha, Jainara Singha, Jainara Singha. And he is known as protector of children, of lovers of God, of all who are alight. The protector protects and he destroys the demons that are even protected by God as Hiranyakashipu was. By Shiva he was protected. Who Demigods who bless the demons. Narasingha smashes them. I was used, I, he helped me very much in my past years when the darkness attacked me and all this. And also now this is... But, so he protects like lion. His children he protects. Like the mouth of a lion is a home for his children. And the same mouth will destroy hyena and every body who attack love. So this is protector of children, purest. But also the most powerful, destroys the most powerful demon in a split. And Narasinga mantras and Narasinga techniques cannot be used by dark ones. They will backfire immediately. So this is complete power. Lion, roar. So Narasinga appeared there and the uh, Hiranyakashipu, he was very happy. He was very happy, you know. Now my worst enemy is here now. I wanted to kill him all my life and he was in joy rejoicing and Narasinga was there. You know, lion, why are you hurting my boy? He's completely insane and crazy and rage. Even he smashed four demons in, in the side just like this. And it was like, now it's going down, they all knew. And the boy was praying and was in love with him. And oh, so nice. And, you know, and then... You know, then they start fighting. They start fighting, they start fighting, but Narasinga, he, the lion, the demon, he was like a mouse and cat. The demon wanted all five parts, Nar Narasinga smashed with the hand, demon flew all over the hole in the floor. And again, he pulled, boom, and he played with him like cat, and he was completely finished. And when he was completely finished, Narasinga took him on his lap. Oh, he took him... <coughs> in his lap <coughs> <coughs> and he put his clothes in chest like this <coughs> and then, uh, then uh, Hiranyakashipu saw is finished what now he said hey how can you do this Shiva blessed me you cannot break the blessing of Shiva he said you are very funny <laughs> I'm not breaking any blessing of anyone he said look it is not day and it is not night. It is tusk. He said, look, we are not in the house and we are not outside. We are just down the door. You know, I, I don't know how it's called this, which is not inside and outside. Door, not doorway, but, you know, door is there and just sitting there. He said, we are standing here. We are not inside the house. We are not outside the house. And my demon... You are not on the ground and you are not in the air. You are in my arms. And you know what? You will not get killed by any weapon but by my claws. And another thing yet, no created living being will kill you but the one that created them all. So... He smashed the tear apart, the demon, all demons left his chest, everything. He just like this and it was finished. He even put his guts all over his, like a medal. Like this, very angry, very angry, very angry. He finished this, nothing was broken. And this is very nice story because there was no chance in 3D. No chance whatsoever for light to win. And even this demon was so blessed that God cannot kill him. But you see, love always finds the way, love always wins. And he was very insane, very go crazy and everything. He was throwing demons around and everything. Even demigods and all were very afraid when they come. They never saw this rage, rage of God everywhere. And uh, Lakshmi, uh, wife, she said, I will not go to him. I never saw him like this. No, 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 let him come down. 
But then little boy Prohlad, he just walked to him. All oh, gratitude, everything. He brought the flower garden. He like this, all in love, you know. This is children. Children don't have fear. Because all these demigods and everybody, they have some sins, they have some karma, and they have something to be ashamed of. They're doing materialistic and like this, they are like this, and they were all afraid. But the boy was so pure, completely pure and happy and everything. He just went there and he put the garland around the lion's head and the lion just immediately... He started pouring... And he put the boy like this on his lap. And very happiness. And just the boy just came there and it was completely very calm. Everything steady, everything nice and everybody re re relaxed. And then, the, you know, and then the Narasingo said, he said, my boy, you have served me so well. You have surrendered me so well. You have done everything. I have to give you something. I have to give you something. Ask anything. He said, my Lord, love of God is all I have and all I can have and now I have you here. All my the desires of all my life are ful fulfilled now, you know. What can I ask you? I just wanted to see you and now I see you. And I'm so happy and everything. And he said, he said, no, but if I tell you, you have to, you have to take a boom. You did the most amazing job. He was testing him. And then the boy said, Okay, then please, please, liberate my father. Let him be liberated. And he said, So you think, just because he's your father, just because of this, when I killed him now, he's free. Free your whole karma, free of everything. He is already free just because he's your father. And all, all generations down are free. Because you are such, you saved the galaxy, you saved everything. And like this. So, this is the surrender of the boy. He wanted nothing in return, never. Never ever he wanted nothing in return. Even when they tried to kill him. On all these ways, he never said, save me, what is this, I, 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 I am a victim. No, he started praying and accepting whatever will be. And always the hand of the Lord came and saved him. Always. And this story is very nice. It shows the surrender. You are surrendered, you accept everything. And God, because you don't do in 3D and fight and everything and re resist, then God has no chance but to save you. And this story is also very nice because children, children are always protected. And children have no fear like lion has no fear. And everybody fears the lion, but the child did not fear the lion. The most vicious lion, the God, the rage of God embodied. Narasinga, one of my higher selves because my higher self is Krishna. And Radha also, so I have everything there, all the heavenly kingdom inside. All the angels, everything, Jesus, Krishna, everything there. I don't know who I am. I'm everybody. I'm Purnananda, like my name is telling. This is name of Radha Krishna together, united, pregnant, completion and fullness of love of God. But the Narasinga, a lion in all his form, maybe Abrahamic or this Vedic, is anyway is one. You see, same lion. And he is very strong in me, and I'm roaring in name of Narasinga, in name of Jesus. And I love the children like this. And this story very much shows the power of love, the power of God. They can be protected, they can be blessed, they can be anything, the demons, and they will lose on the end, and love always wins. And it shows also another thing, all our children, and we, the children of light, we are always protected, always shielded. Nothing can happen to us. But we must be like Pralad Maharaj, we must stop fighting and being a victim and asking why, why, why and crying and all these things and blaming and resisting. We just sur surrender, we let go. And as we surrender to God and let go like a little child, those who fear the demon, you know, the, those who fear the lion, demons who fear the lion, they will run away.
But as we surrender, we will go running in the lion embrace in his mouth. And same mouth that the devour the demon will be our safe refuge. We are the children of love of God, you know. And the same mouth will be our safe refuge. Like cups of a lion, they are safe inside. This is the lion. Children and the lion. Children have no fear. The lion always protects the children. The children are always protected. We are the children. And I roar. And this story is perfect because it shows that love always wins. And the power of children and power of lion and power of surrender and power of love. If we just surrender, God will take care of us. No weapon against us shall prosper like it did not against Prahlad. And again, this is the same story as Dan. Dan was thrown in the pit. They did not eat him. And the Prahlad was protected by Supreme Lion. So, love has won. Surrender. Always trust. Never fight. Never resist. And be pure love of God. And the Lion of love of God will protect you. All the lions are there to protect us. You must surrender. The new life of love now. Roaring love of God, thunder of Lord, roaring love of God. One love us all, I love us all. Roar. Namaste, namaste. Joy, not a singer, joy, not a singer, joy, not a singer. Joy, Lion of Judah, joy, Lion of Judah. We are the tribe of the Lion of God. Amen, a woman. Hare Krishna, namaste. Ave Maria. Roar.